Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Can you imagine working indoors without AC during this brutal hot summer? Review-Journal's Jen Ah explains. Well, officials are reporting an influx of heat-related complaints from workers not working outdoors, but indoors. If you've been baking out in the triple-digit heat, imagine indoors being just as hot. The state's data shows a majority of heat complaints in Nevada are about broken or a malfunctioning AC, workers feeling nauseous, dizzy, and fatigued. As a result, Nevada OSHA has proposed a regulation where any workplace that has employees working in over 90 degree heat would need a treatment program in place. The Review Journal analyzed over 500 complaints made to OSHA between 2017 and 2021 as a new state program launched to protect both indoor and outdoor workers. Over 190 complaints came from leisure and hospitality, compromised of restaurants, casinos and resorts. The second highest came from retail at 106. Now, these numbers may seem quite low, but officials say heat-related complaints are entirely self-reported and often underreported. And the Raiders' new president, Sandra Morgan, purchased a 4,445-square-foot house in Summerlin for nearly $2 million. The sale by luxury home builder Toll Brothers closed July 26th, almost three weeks after the Raiders announced her hiring. The house has a large open floor plan with views of the Strip. Now to your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. After arresting two residents on animal cruelty charges of over 300 animals last week, Nye County Sheriff officials said they discovered dozens of dogs stored in a freezer. And we're out here in Amargosa. Yesterday we got the court order uh, that we could move these animals to the shelter. So that's the plan. We're currently out here. We've got uh, inmate workers out here helping our animal control. And deputies that are uh, on scene here. Officials plan to build 200 extra kennels to house the surviving dogs outside with temporary swamp coolers and shading. Nonprofit group Tales of Nye County raised $15,000 from the public, which will help provide crates and food. The dogs cannot be moved or adopted until criminal charges are resolved. A tourist on the Strip reportedly had his high-end watch stolen from a night with a woman in their hotel room. The theft unfolded Saturday at the Wynn, prompting the arrest of 36-year-old Taylor Shard on suspicion of grand larceny. After asking a man to go up with him to his hotel room, Shard stole his $45,000 Rolex watch, a Cuban link chain, and Gucci glasses. And it's been more than 20 years since a new casino house opened in northern Nevada. That changed Tuesday with the grand opening of Legends Bay Casino in Sparks. The casino offers more than 600 gaming machines and is home to a variety of places to eat, such as Duke's Steakhouse. Located less than 10 miles from Interstate 80, the property is sandwiched between two hotels and the outlets at Legends. Now for your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. We continue with your excessive heat warning today with temps around 109 degrees, light winds throughout the day. Tonight, evening lows around 86 degrees. For the rest of the week, the excessive heat warning has been extended until Labor Day. Temps will stay around 109 degrees, but we could see 111 by Thursday. Evening lows will remain in the mid 80s. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the mobile app today. The Raiders have brought their roster down to the mandated NFL 53-man limit, and it included some surprises for Raider Nation. The Silver and Black retained a handful of undrafted free agents, Missouri Western cornerback Sam Webb, Arizona State linebacker Darian Butler, USC's Isaiah Palomao, and Wake Forest's Luke Masterson were among those that earned roster spots. Notable releases included Keelan Cole, Alex Leatherwood, Darius Phillips, and cornerback Trayvon Mullen and was traded to the Cardinals. In your lifestyle news, Club Med released its list of the top 10 happiest travel destinations in North America and Las Vegas ranked number one. The survey measured the city based on nine metrics, crime, safety, pollution, cost of domestic beers, outdoor activities, day trips, spa and wellness centers, LGBTQ friendly and the overall happiness of the individual cities on a scale from zero to 100. New Orleans came in second and Vancouver, Canada came in third. And the Little Vegas Chapel announced the debut of an 
an all-inclusive desert elopement wedding package available seasonally from October through March. With round-trip limo service to El Dorado Dry Lake Bed in Boulder City, this wedding package makes it convenient for couples to get away from the city lights and to tie the knot in a scenic landscape. For more information, visit thelittlevegaschapel.com. Sports brought to you by DNR House of Diamonds, luxury made affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. The Aces continue to rack up 2022 WNBA season awards as forward Asia Wilson was named Defensive Player of the Year. It's the first time in Aces franchise history that a player has won that award and the first time that Wilson earned the honor. Wilson led the league in blocks and ranked second in defensive rebounds, averaging 7.6 per game, which was also a career high for her. She had a total of 273 defensive of rebounds in the 2022 regular season. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. College football gets underway in full force this week, starting with a handful of games on Thursday. Penn State is the three-point favorite at Westgate Superbook over host Purdue in a Big Ten matchup. The total is 53 and a half. Pitt is a seven and a half point home favorite over the rival West Virginia in the backyard brawl with a total of 51. Tennessee is minus 35 over visiting Ball State in a non-conference contest, while Missouri is a 19 and a half point home favorite over Louisiana. Attack. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. A new 24-hour emergency room is coming to the Northwest Las Vegas Valley. Centennial Hills Hospital conducted a ceremony Tuesday for the ER on West Craig Road. Bringing ER care closer to home makes a huge difference for our entire community. And we've certainly seen that impact in North Las Vegas with our first facility. We have facilities like this that are put in place to help drive uh, and support that population growth across the city. The ER is expected to open in mid to late 2023. Particularly good location because of its visibility. Um, there's a lot of demographic here that will have access to this pr property. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Best Mattress, Best Service, Best Selection, Best Price Guaranteed, get ready for a New York favorite to come to Henderson. On September 6th, Bodega Bagel opens in Henderson, offering New York-style bagels crafted in the traditional method, boiling the bagels after shaping and proofing, then baking the bagels. The shop will also offer other baked goods, soups, salads, and sandwiches. And head to Circle Resort and Casino this Thursday for a special tasting of a new beer made exclusively for the downtown location. Circa has teamed up with local brewery Abel Baker to create a custom blonde lager beer named the Vegas Vicky Neon Blonde. The tasting event is open to the public from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. at Vegas Vicky's Cocktail Lounge at Circa. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.